So it's 2003, right? And Nintendo releases WarioWare. And it's fun, you know, you can make a dude pick his nose or wipe his ass and you play three seconds of Zelda and everybody's happy. What they don't want you to know, what the man does not want you to know, is that five years earlier, Super Tempo was pulling the exact same shit. Now this is the story of an Ant-Man who has a magical trait that grants him the ability to have an infinite amount of pizza. Now, his wife is worried about his cholesterol, you know, he's already eaten a million pieces. If she sees him eating just one more piece, then she's gonna knock him the fuck out. So during the first round, that little instructional round, their little nows pop up on screen and tell you when to hit the button. So every time the trumpet blast comes up, I gotta eat a piece of pizza. Hit it any other time, uh, she punches me in the face. So with each round, the music gets faster and faster and the challenge increases and then the mechanical action of the ant's teeth grind down food into the smaller particles and then you know, the chemical and wetting action of saliva begins to break down of starches into more digestible sugars. The food pushes down the esophagus to the stomach where gastric acids and muscular churning just continue the chemical and mechanical digestion of proteins in the pizza. And then in duodenum you have these pancreatic and bile secretions and the body starts absorbing all the nutrients and you get stronger and stronger. Then it goes through the small intestine large intestine and out of his little ant rectum into a miniature toilet and flushes down into the septic tank and a tank goes down into the sewer system and passes the ninja turtles gets diverted into channels and the waste breaks down into smaller and smaller components and then the treatment plant scans it for non-organics and then they use these little microorganisms to eat the shit and they get sifted again and the water goes to get chlorinated cycles back to the drinking water and did you ever stop to think that you might be drinking the same water as an ant or a dinosaur or a Dave Coulier because that kind of stuff crosses my mind pretty much 24-7 Sometimes I think my head is a uh, beehive. You know, thinking about it again, I'm probably wrong about those ants and how they poop. They're aliens, so they probably have like a whole super advanced system where they never have to poop in the first place. They probably just emit a gas that smells like uh, fresh baked blueberry muffins or something. Da -da -da -da. I wonder what she's watching on TV there. Did they make any of those jokes in uh, Bugs Life or Ants or the Ant Bully? You know those cheap, like uh, Flintstones knockoff jokes that DreamWorks is always doing? Like, you know, instead of uh, The Office, they'd be watching The Rockfits. Or instead of Scrubs, they'd be watching you know, Rock Scrubs. Or instead of 30 Rock, they Oh! Too bad. Game number two is uh, Karate. Or as you uh, Gaijin say, uh, Karate. So, like, scale-wise, I wonder, are these dudes actually really small, or are they kind of like gigantic ants, like Howard the Duck, that want to have sex with the chick from Back to the Future? Or... The sign back there is, uh, Japanese, for Sweep the Leg Johnny. That wasn't funny. What am I, Dane Cook? Robot Chicken? Family Guy? Know what? I'm complaining about making too many pop culture references by referencing other shows that make too many pop culture references. Awesome. I bet that super proportional ant strength enhances his martial arts prowess. Or maybe it don't. Que sera sera. And the last game is Samurai. You play an ant who has to carry their baby through feudal Japan and uh, kill dudes along the way. And when you hear the gong sound, you gotta be the quickest draw. So in these rounds, is the ant walking through one gigantic field and passing a tree over and over again like a Tom and Jerry cartoon? Or is he experiencing like a time loop where it's slightly different each time? Or is it just a video game and I'm overthinking it way too much? You know what they need to do? They need to do uh, Bushido Blade only with animals. So you bring in these little ant dudes and you bring in uh, Usagi Ojimbo and uh, Samurai Pizza Cats. And they all fight, and it's, it's a big furry, you know, slice fest with your Wiimote.
Yeah, sharp like the edge of a samurai sword. I like to wake up from fresh and bone, though my mind's at peace. The world's out of order, I'm missing the inner heat, but life gets colder. Oh, I guess I have to find my path. <laughs> Water and fire, the elements compose a magnum. Hope is my modus operandi is a magnum. Steel that tight and micro chip on my arm is a sign of all pro. <coughs> so the uh, account house here is actually a version of that little Chuck E. Cheese game show at the end of the level. If you really have OCD, you can go back and get more notes and keep coming back here to collect every single item in the whole game. Although there is one more uh, arcade and the count house in a later level as well. But for now we go back to Bremen. Now I don't know whether it's a, just an oddly shaped flamethrower or whether she has a kill setting on her hair dryer. But either way, this is so much better than those horrible bubbles in the bubble fiddle. Bubble fiddle. Bubble fiddle. And of course, Bremen is well known for its undead biker scene. And this little guy is a uh, baby, dressed as Little Red Riding Hood, riding around in a uh, makeshift car fashioned from a wolf carcass. Mostly it tries to blast you with uh, sheep in a deadly circle formation. The sheep, of course, you count them and they put you to sleep, then the car runs over you. In Germany, this is called a Tuesday. Fly away, fly away, fly away, and be like that. Man, what is the driving age in space Germany? Because the laws are pretty liberal if a baby can get a license. I do like the fact that um, Katie turns into a cocoon or Tempo sheds his skin, and when they die, they just pop right back up from where they left off. You know, they don't have to find a checkpoint or start over again. They just kind of reincarnate. I do think that's a good balance, though, you know, between old 16-bit games where, you know, lives are everything, or modern platformers where you don't even bother to have lives at all. But enough about game design, let's burn this infant alive. Come on, little guy. Who wants to get burnt? You do. Who's a good boy? Ah, damn it. Looks like it's time to put you into permanent timeout. And that clown house thing is where uh, Katie and Tempo shack up, living in sin, spitting in the eye of God. Ah, uh, yeah. One, two, one, two. One time for your mind. Super tempo. Going into space. On a clown hand. What? You know how we do. Um, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And it's a book. Bitch, do I look like LeVar Burton to you? Here are three books you might enjoy. But you don't have to take my word for it. And here comes the last of the toys that we've stolen from the children of Germany. They don't want this stuff anywhere. They wouldn't have left it, you know, in their house. Okay, new rule. If your house is in the sky on some sort of solid cloud, I reserve the right to steal whatever I want if I manage to make it up there via means of complex platforming. <laughs> 
I mean, it's really only the fair thing to do, especially if you have all your stuff just sitting out.